Okay, so for this first one that we have here, we have to remember how to take a derivative of uh, a number raised to the power of x. Okay, so we, these, all these problems here are kind of reviewing how you do different types of derivatives. Okay, so for this top part, let's put in zero, and you get a zero for the top part there. If you put zero in down below, you get one minus one, that's zero. Therefore, we know that the hopitals can be applied. So, when you do the product rule for the top part, because you have two things multiplied together, first thing, and then times the derivative of the second. Okay, now if we want to do a derivative of a to the x, the derivative is a to the x times ln of a. So, found the formula, we're going to do 5 to the x times natural log of 5. Then we have plus the second piece, 5 to the x, times the derivative of the first, uh, which is 1. So that completes the product rule for the entire top part. On the bottom, derivative of 3 to the x is 3 to the x, but then we have to remember to multiply it by natural log of 3, and then derivative of 1 is 0. Now, let's put in a zero for the top and bottom and see what we get. See if we have to do another derivative. If I put zero in this first piece, zero times anything, that whole thing is gone. But if I put a zero in here, I get a one. So now, because I notice that I don't get zero over zero, I can actually get my final answer here. I don't need to worry about doing any more derivatives. If I put a zero in the bottom, I get three to the zero, which is one. So I get natural log of three, and that would be the answer for the top one. Now, let's take a look at this bottom one. Now this bottom one, we have a square root here. So instead of rewriting the problem, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first automatically change this right away into a one-half power. That way I can apply a chain rule there, so now, now I know what the power uh, is. I put zero in here, I get square root of 16 essentially is what that is, which is four, minus four is zero, and I have zero on the bottom. Again, I can apply the Hoppe tools. We'll do the derivative of the top. Now, the derivative of the top requires us to do a chain rule there. 1 half comes down, 4x plus 16. Subtract 1 from that power. Don't forget to do the derivative of the inside part. There'll be a 4 that's going to come out there, and then this is going to be minus 4. That derivative is 0. On the bottom, I get a 1. So right away, I already see here that I'm no longer going to have 0 of a 0 situation. Let's rewrite this. I have 1 over. Uh, 4 over 2 reduces to 2 there. 2 on top. On the bottom I have 4x plus square root of 4x plus 16. So again, if I put 0 in here, I'm not going to worry about, I'm not going to be getting 0 over 0, so that's again why I know I'm not going to have to worry about Lahop, using the Hoppe tools again. I have 2 over the square root of 16. 4 times 0 is 0. That gives me 2 over 4 that means the final answer is going to be one half.